Hello and welcome to our video series on BFD2 from Recording School Online. All right, now we've already started making our custom kit and we've loaded a number of different drums in um, from different kits and also being played by different types of sticks. Let's say we want to customize our kick drum. We have a number of features to do that. Now, back in the days of recording acoustic drums, we might really want to get inside the drum itself and dampen it a bit in terms of uh, placing some foam in there, maybe some uh, other material, in order to make it a little damper. Now, this is pretty much pretty tight. So let's get a liver, something liver in there. And this is from... Yeah, let's go through here. Really nice kick drums there. All right. Let's see we want to make that a little damper. We can bring this up while the kit piece is selected. The frequency range, of course, in this kick drum would be lower that we would select. And there we go. It's tighter already. Let's say we want the dynamics to be a little more intense, as if the drummer was playing it a little heavier. We can bring that up. We got a little more punch already. Now let's tune it down a bit. Immediately we have a lot more control. Now let's say we want to take the bleed out of some of the other mics. We can go over to kick bleed and just simply turn that off. We can do that the same for the snare. Now we also have control to what microphones we're sending this to in terms of the overhead, room, and ambience. For instance, let's say we want the ride to be heard more through the overheads, but the kick not to be. Yet we do want to hear it more so in the room and the ambience. We would leave these up, bring this down. Now I've clicked on the ride, and let's say I want more in the overheads, the overhead microphones to pick up that ride and less in the room. We'll bring that down. Now, just to reference this, I'm going to load something just to have a listen to the kit, how it sounds. Let's tighten up the ride a bit by dampening it. Now its frequency range is quite different from a kick. So let's focus on the high frequencies and tighten it up. That's if the drummer was playing with his foot on the pedal a little bit heavier. Now let's check out Pretty nice. Now keep in mind that the control over the bleed, the damping, and the dynamics is really going to shape how this particular kit sounds. And it will translate to the final result. So in customizing your kits, you really want to focus on not just the drum pieces, but also some of these features over here. Check out our next video. Mm -hmm.